Welcome to my channel. My name is Alice Rita. If you are a new subscriber, you are welcome to this channel. I return subscribers, I do not take your love for granted. Thank you for always coming back to watch my video. In my video today, I'm going to be sharing with you a very vital information that international students anywhere in the world would benefit from. And you know that if you have access to information, you are already at an advantage. That, my friend, is the truth. And this is, I'm sharing this information as I've promised in my, in my earlier, one of my video that at the end of my PhD thesis, I'm going to be sharing with you some information about getting an internship, securing a scholarship, tips that I think students anywhere in the world can benefit from. There is an easy route in securing an internship that not so many people are aware of. When I was searching for an internship after my master's degree, I didn't know that this information could be useful. So if you're looking for an internship and you're finishing your coursework and you have a break between the end of your semester and the next semester, even if it's eight weeks or six weeks, you can learn something in that time frame. So if you do not already have a LinkedIn profile today, after watching this video, is the first thing that you have to do. Having a LinkedIn profile puts you out there and helps you to connect with people of like minded people. It helps you to connect with professors that are in the same field as your area of interest. And it's not just that you open the profile and it's there. No. You look, you, when, you've, when you've created your profile, please make sure you put a photo of yourself. You can put a photo that shows just your face or you know what is best that you want to put out there. But if you check some professional profile on LinkedIn, you'll see that most of the photos there are professionally taken. You don't have to take, you don't have to go to a studio to take a professional photo. You can ask a friend that has a good camera to take a photo of you in a bright space so that it makes your face pop. And now the next thing you do is to search for professors or industries or company that are doing what you think that are doing offering services or doing the type of career that you have in mind for yourself. The tip I want to share with you today is mostly for international students. Every other student that are not international already know this information. And that is why sometimes you will hear your friends saying things like, oh, I'm going to be having a summer intern in so 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 company. I'm having a summer intern in, I'm having a summer intern in so 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 research institute. And then you'll be like, oh no, this person must be very smart. How was she able to secure an internship in this industry? How was she able to secure an internship in this research institute? This, my friend, is the information I want to share with you. Instead of competing with the many people out there for a limited internship position, you can actually create a, you can actually create an internship for yourself. And how can you create an internship for yourself? First thing you have to do after you've created a profile for LinkedIn, the next thing is to create a resume for yourself. You can search on the on Google or other internet platform for resume templates. Try and create your templates to match this format. If you've done things that are not, if you've done a job or volunteering role that is not suitable for the position you're applying for, you don't have to have that to just vol to make the CV to be has to have volume. No, my first curriculum vita A that I used during my master's degree was just a single page. And it only contains the information about myself, the studies that I've done, what my thesis intention, what my bachelor thesis internship um, was about, and what my bachelor internship dissertation was about. And the other thing that it has, with name of two reference, <laughs> very simple because I didn't really have much experience before my master's degree. So if you are out there, and you, no matter where you are in the world, you can actually even get an international internship by using this method I'm talking, I'm going to share with you shortly. So after you've created your profile, you've prepared your resume. If you need a friend to proofread your resume for you, do so. And it's best to try to reduce temp, as much temp, typo error as possible. So the next thing you want to do now is to take some research paper and look out for interesting one that triggers your interest. So let's, for instance, during your bachelor degree, you did some, some essay writing where you have to search for some article to check for so some information or photosynthesis or tra organelle trafficking. 
those research papers have names of professors in them. So the first thing that you can do is to pick the one that interests you, that you think, oh, this is really nice. I would love to learn how they do this. Search for the professor's name. The professor will definitely have a LinkedIn profile and also the professor picture and profile will be advertised on their institute or university website. So the next thing you want to do now is to reach out to the professor. In that reaching out to the professor, you are going to attach your resume and a short letter and a short statement of purpose in that email. So to be like, okay, dear Professor Alice, oh yeah, that sounds nice, <laughs> Alice. Dear Professor Alice, I'm Rita, and I just completed my master degree and I'm looking to do an internship for a period of nine months. I came across one of your paper, one of your research paper, where you discussed so and so, and I'm really, this triggered my curiosity to learn how to do this, and I would appreciate if you have an internship position available in your lab. You see? Very simple. And then you send it to this professor and await the email uh, reply. During this period, you don't have to write to a single professor. What I did during my time was I contacted about maybe 15 professors and I got about five offer. And out of that five offers, I got some that were really far away from where I was doing my study. And I got some in some expensive city. So I limited my choice to the best parts that the best place that I really love. And that was doing an internship at Max Planck Institute. One thing about having an internship is that it's broadening your horizon. You're able to learn what other people are doing in other lab. It helps you to prepare yourself for the future. Like, okay, after your master degree, what else do I want to do? This internship opportunity helps you to figure that out. So this is one easy way to contact, to create an internship for yourself. Because sometimes when you reach out to these professors, they've not even finalized the internship they want to advertise. So when you reach out to them, if they have something that is coming up, they will get back to you that, oh, we have this also projects coming up. I will send you the details shortly. And by the time you get, by the time they reach out to you, sometimes they can even reach out with you to about five or four different projects, which you have to choose the one you want from. And this way you've cut out the, the competition of applying for an advertised position that many of you are going to then apply to and do an internship for. So with this method, I hope that international students anywhere in the world are able to use this to secure an internship position for themselves. And if you feel that doing this is really tiring, it's not as tiring as you think. Because with that single resume that I prepared, the only thing I was changing in my email to the professors is the professor's name and their paper that I read that triggered my interest. The remaining last five lines of me saying, oh, I will appreciate if I can get an uh, internship position between May and June or September, all those parts were fixed in the same email I sent. That you get that internship position. And if you find my tip useful, please come back and write in the comment section how many internship offer you're able to secure. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out because now that PhD is coming to an end, it's now time to share with you all the tips, the tricks, the information I learned along the way that I want you also to be successful in your future endeavor. Until next time, mwah, bye. Please check out my other videos here on the screen. Thank you.